Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you the new feature included in the Elementor Pro 3.11 version. The name of the feature is Elementor Loop Carousal. Using this feature, you can create the blog post slider or if you are using WooCommerce, then you can create the product slider using the Elementor Pro. In the previous versions of Elementor Pro, the loop carousal was not included. And if you wanted to create the post slider or the WooCommerce product slider, then you had to install a third party plugin. I have already published videos on how to create post slider and the product slider using third party plugins. So if you are not using Elementor Pro, then you can watch those videos and you can create post and product slider using third party plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box for those videos. Now in this video, we are going to use the Elementor Pro plugin 3.11 and we are going to create the post slider and the product slider using the Elementor loop carousal. So here I'm on the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this website and I have installed Elementor Pro 3.11 on this WordPress website. So here I'm on the demo page. Let me create a new section. And in this section, we are going to create the post carousal. So here is a new section. Let me add some padding to the top and to the bottom. Click on the plus sign and search for loop, L O O O P loop. You will see a new option here, loop carousal. Click on it, drag it and drop it here. Now in the layout section, you will see two different options, post and products. So we will start with the post. So select post and it will ask you to create a new template. If you already have some templates for the loop, then you can use those templates. Now here we are going to create a new template. So click on create a template. Click save. So it is now going to create a loop template for the carousal. Now here you will see a drag widget and you will see options here for the post. So first of all, I'm going to select post title and we, can, we are going to customize it. So whatever style you want, you can use the styling for this template. Now below this, I want post featured image. So I'm going to select featured image and drop it here. So now it will show the post featured image. Below that, I want post excerpt. If you want post excerpt, you can enter it here. And below that, I want a button. Let's add a button here. Drag it and drop it. You can customize it and let's name it as read more. And it will link to the post URL. So from here, from the dynamic tags, select post URL. So whenever someone clicks on this button, you, it will go to that particular post. You can do the same thing for the title also. Select the title, go to link, go to dynamic tags and select post URL. Do the same thing for the image also. Go to link, custom URL dynamic tags and post URL. All right, so this is the template that I have created. If you want to add more items, you can add more items. Okay, now click on save and back. So now you can see that it has automatically created a post slider. Here you can see that it is sliding. If you want to edit, you can simply click on it. And this is the name of the template that has been created automatically. I'll show you how to edit this template. If you want to edit this template in future, you can edit the template. Now here you will see the carousal settings, number of slides that you want to show. Right now, I have only three blog posts on this dummy website, so I'm not going to change it. Number of slides to display, it is showing three. I'm going to change it to two. And you will see it here, two. Slides to scroll. Right now it is scrolling one side, one slide only. You, if you want, you can make it two. Equal height is already turned on. Query. Now, right now it is showing post. If you want products, landing page, manual selection, you can do it from here. If you want related post for that particular post, you can use this related one. You can also include categories. From terms, you can include categories. 
so this is just like the post grid you can select the you can filter the post that you want to show on this slider these are the settings option auto play timing is there speed is there pause on hover so these are the basic settings and this is the navigation you can see the arrows here if you want to disable it you can disable it so i'm going to enable it here you will see pagination shows dots these are the dots i'm going to select none so only option will be the arrows i'm going to make it three slides now here you will see styles this is the gap between the slides you can reduce the gap or if you want you can increase the gap navigation this is the icon size here you will see the icon size i'm going to change the color here so you can see the icons here for the hover i'm going to select black or less blue so this is how it will look position inside or outside so this is outside and this is inside you can also change the padding and the advanced settings for the post carousal so let me save it let me update the page and let's see how does this look so this is how the slider will look now let's create a product slider just below this one so i'm going to click on the plus sign create a new section let's add some padding to the top and to the bottom click on the plus sign search for loop select loop carousel and drag it and drop it here and this time i want products so i'm going to select products click on create a template so i'm going to select new template click on save now click on the plus sign and here you will see the options select your structure so i'm going to select single column click on the plus sign product title let's make it h4 center line it and link will go to the post url now below that i want product image featured image for the product and the size will be let's say 300 by 300 below that i want product price so this is the product price below that i want this add to cart let's use two different options here view product and add to cart so i'm going to select the basic inner section here in the first section i'm going to add a button it will be view product and link it to post url and in the second one i'm going to use add to cart button so drag it and drop it here let's increase the width here okay you can customize the style of the button okay so this one looks good so i want to add some border here so i'm going to select the column and for the style put the border and let's add box shadow like this and let's add border also one pixel okay so this one looks good i want to make it price in the central line you can change the color settings for the price now here you will see different options different elements that you can add to this template short description is also there so i'm going to use this one so i'm going to click on save and back now here you will see the product slider so click on the edit loop carousel and number of slides let's make it 10 query you can select latest product or you can select 
term and add some category here if you want to show the products from particular category you can select the category so it will show products from accessories so you can filter the products using the terms so i'm not going to use it i'm just going to use all the products from the latest products so here you will see different options to show upsell cross sell related products next is settings these are the settings for the carousel auto play speed navigation just like what we saw here in the post carousel you can see you can use the same navigations here go to style you can change the gap navigation you can change the size and color of the icon let's update it go to the page refresh it and here you will see the product carousel the woocommerce product carousel is here so if i click on it add to cart it will get added to the cart automatically you can see it here let me add this one and you will see it added to the cart automatically so if you want to view the product you can click on view product and it will go to that particular product page let's go back go to the post if i click on this one it will go to the post page now if you want to edit these templates that you have created you can go to dashboard from here you can go to theme builder and here you will see the option loop item so these are the two templates that we have created for the blog post slider and the product slider so in future if you want to edit these templates you can simply go to edit and from here you can edit the templates for the loop carousel so this is how you can create the blog post slider and the woocommerce product slider using the elementor pro plugin you do not need third party plugin so if you are using elementor pro plugin then you can upgrade to the new one 3.11 if you are not using Elementor Pro, then I'll recommend you to go for the Elementor Pro plugin. The one plugin is good enough to create the entire website for you. I'll give you the link in the description box. If you want to buy the Elementor Pro plugin, you can go to that link. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.